yeah, this lesson is uh, section 2.4, part 4 of uh, our integrated math series, and it's titled Write an Equation of Perpendicular Lines. Okay, uh, the last lesson we uh, wrote equations of parallel lines. Parallel lines, they were equal to each other, so perpendicular. Um, uh, here, here we go. So lines are perpendicular. Uh, if they form right angles, okay, so like like your wall and um, and your floor in your classroom, those should be perpendicular to each other, or your wall and your ceiling, or where walls intersect, uh, typically they are perpendicular to each other because they form right angles, okay. So when you're talking about slopes, you guys, and that's what we'll be talking about in this lesson, their slopes are opposite signs, so one is positive, one is negative. Okay, and they're reciprocals of each other. That's what uh, perpendicular slopes are. And we've talked about that in the last, not the last lesson, but the one before that. So, for example, you guys, uh, the slope of negative two-thirds, you see how that's negative, and this one's positive, and they're reciprocals of each other. So negative two-thirds and, and positive three-halves, they would be uh, perpendicular slopes. So determine uh, which lines, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. Okay, I'm just going to move that up right there. Determine which lines are, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. Okay, so here we go. Line A, line B, line C. Line A has this equation, so the slope of line A, here it is right here. It's y equals mx plus b, so m is the slope. So let's go ahead and find the slope of that line right there. So the slope of that line is that 5 right there. Okay, remember if it's in this form, AX plus BY equals C. Remember the slope is opposite A over B. Okay, so AX plus BY equals C. So opposite the number that's in front of X. Okay, what number is in front of that if it's not there? Okay, it's 1. So it's going to be negative 1 over this number here, over 5. So the slope of that one is negative 1 fifth. Okay? The slope of this line is going to be opposite this negative 10, which is going to be positive 10, over this uh, negative 2 right here. So the slope of that line is going to, whoops, I did it backwards. Ooh, ooh I, caught, I caught myself in my own trap right there. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the Y comes first, and the X is over here. So do you see how this, <laughs> I fell for my own trap right there. See how the X comes right here? So this is the number. It's the number in front of X over the number in front of Y. So it's opposite this negative 2, that's what this says down here, over uh, the number that's in front of Y, which is negative 10. Okay. So opposite negative 2 is a, is a positive 2, and then over negative 10, and then we never leave the, the negative in the denominator. It always floats out in front of the fraction, so there it is right there. Okay, so uh, this is also negative 1 fifth. These two are the same, so negative 1 fifth or negative the fraction 1 fifth, okay? You can have the negative in the numerator, but not in the denominator. Don't ask me why they come up with those rules. So let's answer the question, you guys. So uh, the, it says uh, determine which lines are parallel or perpendicular, if any. Okay, and I don't know if you can read this down here, so I put it over here on the side. So lines B and C, line B has slope negative one-fifth, and line C has also slope negative one-fifth. So lines B and C has the slope, uh, the same slope and are parallel to each other. So these lines would be parallel to each other. And then line A, this, this one is 5, which is 5 over 1. It's the opposite reciprocal of these guys right here. So 5 is an opposite reciprocal of negative 1 fifth. So right here it says line A is perpendicular to lines B and C because 5 is the opposite reciprocal of negative 1 fifth. So line A is perpendicular to... Um, uh, B and C, and then B and C are parallel to each other. Write an equation of the line that passes through the given point and is perpendicular to the given line. Okay, so it's going through this point and it's perpendicular to this line. Okay, the slope of this line, I don't need that plus 3 at all. I'm just looking for that slope right there. So the slope of this line is that uh, uh, negative, or is that 2 right there? So a perpendicular slope would be to flip 2, 2 over 1, and change the sign. So it's going to be a negative 1 half. So y equals negative m, or y equals mx plus b, and our m is uh, negative 1 half. Okay, remember from the last lesson, how do we get b? We substitute 4 in for x, and we substitute in negative 5 in for y right there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and plug them in. So uh, there we go. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that 1 half and the 2, or the 4 cancels. 2 goes into 4 twice. Okay, it's still negative, you guys. So I have negative 5 equals negative 2 plus B. I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and I get B equals negative 3. 
Okay, watch the negatives, you guys. Okay, not done yet. We've got to put that B back up into that equation right there. So here's the answer. Y equals one half or negative one half x minus three. Okay? So just like last time, except it's perpendicular slopes. Okay, here's another one here. Okay, so here we go. The slope is going to be opposite A over B. So negative this negative 1, which is a positive 1, over 4. The slope of that line is 1 fourth right there. Okay, so the perpendicular slope would be to flip 1 fourth and change the sign. So it would be negative 4. Okay, so y equals mx plus b. So y equals negative 4x plus b. Then we're going to substitute this in for x down here right there and then substitute that 3 in for y right there okay so there we go so I'm gonna substitute that in this is negative 16 so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add 16 to both sides okay and then uh, 3 plus 16 is 19 okay that says or I don't know why I have that so close I should have put the word or right there okay so B equals 19 then we're gonna plug it right back up into there so there's uh, it goes up back up into that equation right there boom there's your answer y equals negative 4x plus 19 Okay, fun, huh? Okay, lines a, a, uh, line A's equation is x equals 2y minus 8. Line B is perpendicular to line A and contains the point 0, 5. All right, well, let's get the slope of this guy. Let's put this guy in standard form, okay? So you could solve for y if you want. I did not. I, I put it in standard form, so I subtracted uh, 2y from both sides. x minus 2y equals negative 8. All right, and then the slope, you guys, the slope we're going to do um, opposite this number over this number. So it's going to be negative 1 over negative 2, okay? And then uh, that equals positive 1 half. So that's the slope of line A, okay? Line B is perpendicular, so i got to flip this guy and change the sign. So the slope of uh, perpendicular slope is going to be negative 2, okay? So y equals negative 2x plus b. And then now we're just going to substitute that point in right there, and we're going to get... Um, uh, let's see, uh, put in 5 and 0, and I get uh, 5 equals 0 plus b, or b equals 5. Okay, easy enough, and put that right up into there. And then there's our final answer right there, y equals negative 2x plus 5. And that's it, you guys, okay? Okay, I hope you guys are doing great, you guys. Take care.